This video is brought to you by Engine Play, an online social motor community which allows you to network with other motor enthusiasts. You can share photos, videos, upcoming events, you can create private groups or you can even join forum discussions. Engine Play is not just for cars but motorcycles too and also a mobile application will be available this September. It's very easy to get started, just head over to www.engineplay.co.uk where you'll be greeted with some of the latest motorsport news, make a profile and there you go, start posting. The fuck? What we got here? How you doing, Ali? Hello. You good? Pleasure, man. What on earth have we got here? Uh, <laughs> I know, I know it's a mini, but like, what's going on here? This is my V16 <laughs> boosted clearly powered mini, um, GT 376R, uh, running 15 psi boost. Um, 750cc injectors, skunk 2 lifter, skunk 2 valve train. Um, yeah. <laughs> who, who did this? Me. This is. This did is it yourself? Me. Yeah, 100%. Wow, guys, take a look here, man. I've never, ever seen anything like this. And is that the turbo on the front there? Yeah. What, what turbo is it running? Uh, it's a Garrett GT 3076R. Wow. <laughs> And uh, what's the power? Uh, 304 at the moment at the wheels, so that's 358 brake, um, oh 217 God. foot pipe. And is it front wheel drive? And it, at the moment it's front wheel drive, yeah. Wow, that is unreal. This yeah. winter, it'll be four wheel drive and then we're running a bit more power, hopefully make the 500 brake mark. Five? <laughs> yeah. And how old are you? Uh, 22. 22? 22. And you've done this yourself? Yeah. My Apart God. from painting and tuning, everything else is, is me. Everything from the intercooler has been custom made. Um, obviously, the turbo, the grills had to be made and customized for that. Um, putting the engine in, so that is still on a sort of mini subframe, which I've then made brackets up and obviously jigged it to sit in where a mini engine would sit. Mm -hmm. Um, inlet manifold, that's a big one. People say it's a B20 inlet manifold and it's not. It is a standard B16 manifold. It's just been cut and then moved so that it'll fit in there without having to modify mm -hmm. the uh, bulkheads. Is it, is it a Type R engine? Or is it, it is Type R and it is running VTEC. Um, yeah. It's sleeved, block guard, um, decompression head gasket, um, got Wisco pistons, um, skunk two lifters, um, yeah the list goes on the bottom end at the moment isn't actually built um, it's just running um, carbon synchos M factory carbon synchos okay. uh, because of making it four wheel drive yeah. so there wasn't much point in putting money into that GSXR 1000 radiator in the front out of obviously a motorbike because it's the only thing that I could get to fit yeah. <laughs> there is another radiator believe it or not underneath the boot floor yeah yeah at the back and then yeah, it's just got standard bolt on parts other than that, it's like a forged dump valve, You've got a turbo smart um, wastegate. It's running a screamer back into the exhaust because I just, it's loud enough as it is at the moment mm. and all the crap that goes everywhere, do you know what I mean? Mm. Chassis has been strengthened underneath. Um, it's got a few more supports for the subframe than what it normally would have. Mm. And to be fair, I was watching it in the beginning and I haven't got any stress fractures or anything like that and it's sort of, coping with it pretty well. Big brakes, we can't have big power without stopping power, do yeah. you know what I mean? And uh, what have you gone with this? They are the biggest set of um, 
they're probably tiny to a lot of people, but they're the biggest set of uh, Willwood um, brakes that you can get. Okay. Um, to fit in 13 inch wheels. What are they like? Does it, does it yeah, mate, stop it, it stops, it stops. Don't yeah. get me wrong, but obviously it doesn't have ABS, it doesn't have all those other electronic gizmos. So, and what uh, tyres you got, mate? Uh, they're Yoko um, 4048s. Okay. Uh, they're the only ones that you can get that really will handle that sort of power and it does eat through them quite quickly. Mm. But I'm sure that yeah. this must still spin right with Yeah, it? it does, mate. It's 70 mile an hour on the motorway. If you're in fourth or fifth, it'll spin if you plant your foot. Hopefully, four wheel drive and nail that. Mm. And you've got like these wider arches as well, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, it's full Z Max body kit. What other wheels, actually, sorry? Uh, Force Racing wheels. They are Billet Alley. Three okay. piece split rims. What size are they? Oh, uh, they're 13 by 7.5 custom offset. Interior wise, you've got some. Interior, like, mate. Smart in there as well, <laughs> isn't it? I'm all about like show and go. So. Wow. <laughs> so it's a nice place to be, isn't it? Yeah. Dash is, is bought fiberglass, but then is um, modified by me, customised. Uh, I've had special custom made Dakota digital gauges all round, quick shifter. Uh, retrimmed, obviously everything in interior is custom and retrimmed. What's going on with the gearbox then? Anything? Um, only just a quick shifter at the moment, yeah. again because obviously four wheel drive now to change it. But what gearbox is it? A stock mini one or is it? Uh, no, 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 no. It's no. going to be from this. It's, yeah, it's just, just I gear, think it's yeah. SR4. Um, yeah. So nothing, nothing gear wise has been changed really at the moment, apart from final drive just to match up with obviously smaller tires and wheels. Yeah. And was it five speed or? Uh, yes, five speed. Yeah. Uh, it's got carbon sinkers in just so it lasted the mm. power. Do you know what I mean? Clutch. Um, clutch is stage five competition clutch. It's also it, like heavy. Or? It is heavy. Yeah. Mm. And a good day's drive in it. You know what I mean? If you're <laughs> feeling it. <laughs> and seats as well, man. They look nice, don't yeah, they? Yeah, mate. It's like quilted style, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, they're custom Recaro retrimmed ones. Yeah. Um, same as the door cards again yeah. and then in the back my washing machine sub and then it's all caged and kitted out in the back I've got a good friend retro retrims Chris yeah. um, it's helped me out a lot it's done the roof lining well it yeah, did everything but pretty much to do with retrimming things yeah and then uh, what about exhaust um, exhaust is completely straight through uh, resonated um, it has got a small little cat in it but it doesn't really do a lot <laughs> loud or um, yeah mm. yeah it's, it's pretty loud and I see this big old chicken yeah. wing here yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> was so that is either you love it or you hate it I think it looks cool regardless is it there for looks it, and that is legit it holds yeah. that back end tight literally okay. that's obviously all the weight now is at the front um, there's a carbon fiber boot floor all the way through boot lid um, there's no rear subframe it's a cross beam um, conversion alley so it just lost all the weight out the back and when we were first driving it every time you dip into a corner do you know what I mean the back end was just it wanted to go so yeah. and now with the spoiler <clears> now with the spoiler it, honestly it really does hold and there's a lot of people out there that are pushing high power minis now that are, are stepping that way it is a bought Teguar um, for an EK9 I believe um, yeah. and then I just adjusted bits and pieces cut it up and then refabricated some brackets and, and that fitted and then a uh, Vortex long rear wing off of a um, MX-5, I believe. Why did you go with like the Honda engine, for example? Um, just because I partly know it's been done before, but I wanted to do it on completely standard front end, and it is the easiest way to make big power, okay. pretty much. Off the Honda engine, yeah? Off the Honda engine. Reliably as well. Reliably as well, yeah. Mm. Like, I drive it everywhere. Like it is, does not see a trailer. If I'm coming somewhere, I'd like to come meet you. Yeah. I've just driven there. I've drove it to Manchester last weekend, and it don't miss a beat. That's yeah. another thing actually. Coming here, obviously it was pissing down with rain, and uh, that air filter, no, not a problem with the rain. Yeah, yeah. It just looks insane, and even like the uh, so you spin sprayed as well. What's the actual? What's uh, the color? The color is House of Color um, Tangerine Orange. It's like a dye, tangerine. so it's a one-time thing. So yeah. yeah, it looks really nice. If really you mess nice. it up, unfortunately, it's full respray again. It does have stone chips, don't get me wrong, but I enjoy putting them there, if you know what I mean. The attention must be unreal. <laughs> unreal, mate. It's coming down the motorway and everybody is looking and loving it. Bloody hell, man. What is going on here, man? Hey, it's just a fuel cell. It's nothing too special and just some pumps, uh, swirl pot, um, and then another bit of retrimming, custom work and then you can just about see carbon fibre floor. I wish that was liquid meth, and it will be liquid meth soon. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that is unreal. I don't, yeah, I don't even think there's 
probably no point in me driving. That is just insane. We might as well hit the road then, right? Yeah, hit the road. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Like, 
get that power down like efficiently, it's all four wheel drive. It would be just ridiculous, wouldn't it? I'm almost just waiting for someone to just fly out my ass. It's gonna rip through. <laughs> it's complete chaos. Do you drive this um, every day or? No. No, no it's evenings if I want to go out for a blast with the lads. Yeah, a bit from play. Down to your right. <laughs> See it? Yeah. That's it. Clutch down or? Nope. Don't have none of that melting technology in there, man. Uh, I need to lose some weight. <sighs> Let's do this. Am I actually going to be able to drive with this clutch? About to find out. Caught it. Caught it. <laughs> <laughs> All my mates say I made this look easy, mate. 30 in the game, man. You're 22, bro. <laughs> yeah, but I got a kid. Put some, I've got a kid as well. It puts ages on you. 11. You. How do I? No indicators. Uh, indicators, bro. At least. Oh, shit. Yeah. Sega Rally style, yeah? Yeah. Guys, this is extremely hard to drive. I promise <laughs> you. If I make it look easy, which I'm probably not, trust me, it's really hard. Vibe, innit? Yeah. It's like I'm moving rocks. 
bro, man's moving stone. <laughs> Trust hey, me. If you, if you, Actually, how do I take, click it back, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so I need to watch out for bloody potholes and stuff. Potholes. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is wow, man. If you crash this, it is game over. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have never experienced. Is it breaking? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ali, you're God. used to pitch fluid. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know where to put my foot now. I don't know. Yeah, it's not even about that right now. Fourth gear. It's gonna catch him. What? Put him in the road. <laughs> nah, legit. Like, oh. You'll feel that and then all of a sudden yeah? you'll just have it. It's, there's no light. Like the steering is literally connected to the wheels, isn't it? There's yeah, nothing, yeah, yeah. there's nothing disguising the steering feel. That's the nice thing I like. It's all you. It is on you 100 percent There's no computer helping you. There's no nothing. It's like when you play an arcade game, yeah, like the simulator. <laughs> 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 you know you play simulator and you put the settings incorrectly for the steering, like. Definitely a one off very special car. Everywhere you go, right? Everybody. In fact, you've made an Instagram account and you've got what? Nearly 15,000 followers. Yeah, from 800 and something odds in April this year. If you did enjoy it, oh my days, let's just go straight. Yeah, probably not the most informative video, but if you did enjoy it, uh, remember to give it a thumbs up. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, Ollie, do you want to plug your Instagram? I'll leave it in the link anyway, yeah, but yeah. what is it? It's a P16 boosted underscore minute. Cool. Yeah, yeah so definitely uh, check him out on Instagram. Loads of more stuff to come with this car, right? Yeah. And are uh, you planning on doing another car? I am planning on doing another yeah. car. Yeah, keep that a secret for now, yeah? Yeah. Cool, man. Alright, guys, man. See ya. Take care.